Well, I've just about recovered from yesterday's dramatic episode and I'm ready now for the Season 3 Transfer Special as we look to build a team, and it seems crazy to say this, for the Football League. League 2 is about to hit us like a ton of bricks. We've got a decent amount of money to spend over the summer, but we are going to have to be very, very careful of financial fair play, so we'll keep an eye on that. We'll hopefully put together a good squad. And who knows, maybe we'll make it back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back promotions. Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024. And another part of non-league to Champions League with South Shields. Today we have got the Season 3 transfer special. We are going to be putting together a team that uh, will hopefully survive in League 2. I think, uh, you know, we can't go into next season expecting to compete at the very top. We've had two incredible seasons back to back. But um, yeah, it is going to be a hell of a... A hell of an achievement if we uh, manage to stay in the division next year. I think it's going to get really, really tough now. Um, and hopefully we'll we'll manage to stay comfortably in the division, start building a team that can get up into League One, and then, you know, we're not too far away from the Premier League by that point. So, yeah, it's going very well so far. If you are enjoying the series, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Really would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the action. Um, and first things first, we need to uh, maybe wrap up what happened last season. So a um, little look at squad performances. Top goal scorer was Ethan Wheatley with 36 from uh, 40 starts. Uh, Dylan Motley Henry and Jed Abbey scored 13 each. Nine for Raksaki and um, Paul Blackett and Robert Briggs all uh, get nine there. Seven for Jordan Williams as well. Uh, top assists then, 18 for Dylan Motley Henry, 13 each for Saki, uh, Rak Saki and Robert Briggs, Jake Leake uh, on 11 there, 9 for John Lefudu. Top average train was Ethan Wheatley with a 7.4, Motley Henry up there, Lefudu up there, Rak Saki up there as well. Very, very good performances from all of them. Uh, in terms of contracts expiring, there's quite a few that are expiring as we head towards the end of the season. Of course, uh, Gary Little will be uh, leaving us. Jordan Clark will be leaving us as well. Um, definitely want to get rid of those. Mackenzie Heaney, I think his time uh, at the club is, is going to be coming to an end. Naya Kirby, it's, it's a tricky one. You know, he played 18 times last season. He is a decent player. Could become a leading League 2 player in the future. He's somebody I'll think carefully about. Uh, Jed Abbey, I think, deserves another season. Only 23 years old. Um, Jack Hodner, he, he's going to be going. Kelvin Meller, um, probably Fraser Shaw as well. Uh, Luke James has already decided that he's going. So we'll set all them for release. Uh, Rio Adebisi, uh, never played for the club. He's going to be going as well. Uh, Tom Broadbent, somebody that I want to, to get uh, signed up for another season. So Paul Blackett as well, uh, I think deserves another year on his contract. So uh, we're going to look at all of those. Obviously, uh, Sir Robert Briggs is the big one. He's not happy at the club and just will not uh, renew his contract, unfortunately. So I think he will be going unless he has a change of heart. But uh, it's not looking likely, is it? But uh, Tom Broadbent, I think, you know, he's, he played 46 times in the league last season, played very, very well in season one as well. I think he does deserve um, another year on his contract. We're going to have him as hopefully a regular starter. Yeah. Um, what's he currently on? Oh, he's, uh, he's going to take a pay cut. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we like to see. Um, let's move that down to 550. Perfect. So another two-year contract for Tom Broadbent. It would be nice to keep him around at the club. Um, Paul Blackett as well. I mean, he's on a £1,000 per week. That's 
you know, not going to be uh, a lot. We needs to be a fringe player, really, doesn't he? But we'll put him as a squad player. Yeah, he's going to reduce what he uh, wants as well, which is good. We'll reduce that to 800, 850. Yep, yeah, perfect. So uh, getting them on lower contracts, perfect. Um, so Paul Blackett, uh, Broadbent. I'd love to get Ra Raksaki in again next season. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Um, okay, I mean let's let's see if we can get him in. It's going to be a star player playing in defensive midfield. Hmm. Future fee? I mean, how much is he worth? He's worth... Yeah, I mean, okay. Can we put in a future fee for him? Optional future fee? Uh, yeah, let's try that. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, in terms of players that we need, I mean, we desperately need to think about uh some more defenders uh, we've we've obviously got jack kingdon um we could do with a, another sign of his caliber uh going into next year um lafuru i think is is going to be coming to about his level uh at right back definitely need somebody that can play there um in terms of left back Quite happy with Jake Leak. I mean, we've got Blair Adams as our backup, but again, he's not fantastic these days. Uh, probably need another defensive midfielder to slot into uh, those positions. And uh, yeah, I mean, going forward, the team looks pretty good. It's at the back that we definitely need to improve. But we have got plenty of money, as I say. We've got about 12 grand in the bank um, and more to come as well when uh, other players inevitably... Uh, go and uh, we're going to clear that get rid of the loan thing and you, know, you can see there's plenty of good players out there that that would join us and yeah could be could be really really uh fun this summer to see the sort of players that we could go and get i mean contracts expiring anybody decent yeah, no, there there are there there are some good players out there. Uh, any international player? I mean, Deli Ali apparently is now interested in joining. Should we stick him on a trial? He's only twenty nine, believe it or not. Andros Townsend, thirty three years old, um, has been playing in the Premier League recently. Let's give him a little scout as well. Uh, yeah, that that would be awesome if we could get players of of that caliber in to join us next season but uh, i'll push on and of course i'll catch up with you guys if anything interesting happens okay three new signings then uh, who have come in straight away on a free transfer from their release from um premier league clubs youth players uh, so we've got timmy adekunle uh, he's come in from tottenham potentially uh, an efl league one standard player in the future already a good national league player three star ability five star potential looks very very good um decent height decent heading good jump and reach looks looks good i think he will be um a great backup player for us and uh, we've brought in trayvon mully he has come in from aston villa uh, he's an 18 year old winger as well already a good league two player um could get up to four and a half star potential in the future has scored plenty of goals for Villa's youth team. And finally, Amaro Nalo has come in. He's from Liverpool, uh, did join them on a free last year, but he's already a four-star player, five-star potential. So uh, real excellent players and uh, wonderful to have three brand new signings straight away on a free transfer. Okay, so it's uh, season review time. Let's have a little look at all of this. So uh, in terms of signing of the season, um, it looks like they've give, have they given it to Nalo? Um, not entirely sure. Maybe Raksaki uh, managed to 
uh, woo them. Uh, Ethan Moore, he's uh, somebody that we signed permanently from Sunderland. Uh, didn't really play it too much, to be fair. Um, and he will be more than likely leaving us at the end of the year. Jordan Williams is somebody else uh, that, that played okay in spells. Jimmy Patterson, of course, got injured. Uh, looked pretty good. Jake Leak w w was a great player. Um, so, yeah, very happy with that. In terms of our season results, it was, you know, a fairly inconsistent season. There was a lot of wins in there, uh, but 11 losses, 9 draws. We could have done better, but... Uh, Finished fourth in the end, managed to go up through the playoffs. Very, very happy with that. Of course, we reached the first round of the FA Cup. We will automatically be there next season. That is huge for the football club. Um, we got to the quarterfinal of the FA Trophy. Uh, biggest win was 6-1 against Maidenhead United. Excellent result there. Match to remember was 3-1 against Bromley. And uh, goal of the season was for uh, Naya Kirby against a walking in one of our first matches of the season in terms of sponsorship that's gone up massively broadcast revenue has uh, gone up corporate and hospitality competition prize money match day commercial and retail all looking very good we've now gone up to regional reputation which is fantastic uh, and ethan wheatley is the the biggest shirt uh, selling player uh, Miles Borney in goal, the Fudu Kingdon, Broadbent, Leek, uh, Raksagi, Hargreaves and Briggs in the middle, Motley, Henry and Abbey starting behind a Wheatley up top is our top 11. Uh, plenty of records this season and I'm really excited to see uh, what is going to go on. Uh, moving into the next couple of seasons, history in the making, um, a remarkable season for South Shields, started superbly, su superbly and never let up, they are deservedly going up. Okay, and there's our manager timeline. Right, quick look at all of this then, um, our social media following has gone up, which is brilliant, uh, we've got slightly more family um, fans, which is, is nice to see. Uh, in terms of club expectation, um, they want us to avoid relegation from League Two. So they they are expecting us to avoid relegation uh, rather than a, a attempt uh, to do that. And they want us to finish in the top half uh, by the end of 2029 which is is cool uh, they want us to work within the wage budget it doesn't look like there's anything new in there we're doing very well with most of those things um at the moment so we will accept that current vision and um, we will go to the uh, squad end of season a party and we will say um we're actually going to leave it at that we're not going to uh, set them any expectations New season team report looks good. I mean, you look at that side and you think, well, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, hopefully for League Two, that will, will work out. Okay, cool. Right. I'll keep going forward and we'll see uh, where we get to. Ooh, exciting times. Right. We are going to be expanding the first cloud arena. Uh, Mariners Park, of course, in Simon's side. Uh, we're going to get some new seats and standing areas to raise the total capacity by 1,250. So it's going to essentially double the capacity, I think. Uh, the planned work will cost an estimated 950 grand um, and it will comply with the league requirements. It's going to take eight months to complete. Um, I don't think we're going to have to move grounds for now, um, but that's not going to be finished until December. So we're going to be at reduced capacity for now. Our facilities have been downgraded as well, so we'll have to think about trying to um, up all of that. But yeah, OK, interesting. Very, very good. OK. OK, new signing uh, has joined. Uh, we have brought in Brody Hughes on loan from Sunderland. Uh, looks pretty good, actually. 20 years old, leading uh, League Two player. Could potentially be uh, championship standard. Couldn't get Raksaki back in for another season, unfortunately. Doesn't want to join us, so, yeah. Uh, real shame, really. Um, but, yeah, it is, it is what... Um, uh, it is what it is, you know, there's, there's nothing we can particularly do about it. We'll keep uh, asking to, to bring him in. Um, 
but I, I just don't think it's it's going to happen. Unfortunately, um, Joe Bellingham as well. I mean, he's another one that uh, is uh, loan listed at Sunderland, but we we can't do anything with that. Uh, in terms of transfers, we've we've sort of, uh, brought one more player in, Jay Glover. Uh, he's come in from Sheffield United, good National League player apparently, but could be a good um, League One player in the future. Played in League Two last year, which is good. Um, I don't think anything else has particularly happened. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to lose Jack Kingdon. His um, release clause has been activated by Charlton, £65,000, which is a real shame. Um, anyway, and we need to adjust the budget because we're going to get um, a brand new uh, sign in here and it is Mazia Kuya um, who is already a, a decent uh, League 2 player could be a good League 2 player in the future has been playing at York recently had a very good season there last year um, can play anywhere uh, across the, the front line so I think we'll be a good player to, to have in there um, yeah I don't really know why He's annoyed. Um, yeah, I mean, Emia Hughes is somebody that's not really going to be playing much ever again for the club. Uh, interestingly, let's uh, have a little look at the season preview. Um, they're expecting us to finish mid-table in League Two, which I think is a, a massive um, confidence boost for us, really. Um, you know, we've struggled for, for signings so far, but... Uh, we're still going. Uh, we did manage to get Robert Briggs's contract uh, resigned. Um, he's now going to be a, a, the under 18s manager as well. So we've got him signed for the next couple of years. He's still going to be uh, dictating the play from the middle of the park. But unfortunately, one guy that did retire uh, was Blair Adams. So he has uh, left us. He is now just a coach. Um, for the next couple of years, I think the director of football renewed his contract and didn't offer him any uh, playing uh, time, which is a, is a real, real shame because, as we know, he is a a very good player um, and one that we will dearly miss. But, um, yeah, the squad's come together quite nicely. Hopefully a few more signings before the season starts, but uh, pretty confident, actually. Oh, and by the way, um, have a little look at the Carabao Cup first round match. It's the Captain Goodspeed Derby against uh, Stockport County, um, who didn't end up going up to the championship. So looking forward to that uh, in tomorrow's episode. That is going to be awesome. OK, another sign in coming in. Isaac Heath is going to be joining us on a free transfer. Uh, former Everton youngster. Looks uh, pretty good, actually. Um, does this guy. Uh, he is already a decent EFL League 2 player. Could improve uh, slightly as well. So looking forward to seeing what he gets up to in that left-hand side role. Um, really increasing the, the squad depth and uh, players that we can use, which I'm really, really good glad about because um it has been pretty pretty tricky i mean we can only register 22 players now obviously uh, under 21 players that can play anyway um but yeah that that could make things a little bit interesting so i need to to get into that really before we look at any more signings Okay, another loan signing. Uh, Harry Jones is going to be uh, coming in from Swansea. Um, pretty happy about this one. I think uh, we've got to be um, open-minded about who we're going to play in certain positions, and he certainly fits the bill. Comes in from Swansea, was uh, out on loan at Eastleigh last season. So uh, very, very good backup player. Right then, we have reached the end of the summer and our first match against Swindon Town then. So uh, this is the team that we are going to be selecting for our first match of the season. Um, just going to have a little look at uh, the feet that they can use. 
So uh, Miles Boney starting in goal with Lafaru continuing at right back. Uh, Brody Hughes and Amaro Nalo uh, in central defence and Jake Leake on the left hand side. Jay Glover and Cameron Hargreaves in defensive midfield. Uh, Sir Robert Briggs will get the first start of the season in central midfield with uh, Dylan Motley Henry and Isaac Heath starting wide of Ethan Wheatley up top. We've still got Jed Abbey and Tom Broadbent on the bench. Joe Gomez who has returned from a loan deal uh, will start on the bench as well and it should all hopefully work out very very well indeed final little look at uh, the the competition preview they are expecting us now to finish in 19th so we've dropped down a little bit since kingdon's uh, departure so we will have to to think about that um going forward i think we are going to have to make a couple more signings but that is something that will just have to try and do uh, in tomorrow's episode but that is where we're going to leave it for today so if you have enjoyed it give it a massive thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more football manager videos and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye